Wedding season is here, so I came up with a few different DIY ideas for some simple centerpieces. These don't just have to be for weddings. You can use them for decoration around the house or even for some small parties. For this project, you'll need glassware. You can use wine glasses, regular glasses, short glasses, tall glasses, candle holders, fish bowls, pretty much anything that catches your eye. You can get them from anywhere really. I started at the dollar store. Decorative fillers. You can use gems, stones, flowers, pearls, anything you like. Candles. Regular, flameless, or floating. And tulle and ribbon. First you want to pick out what glass you're using. Then fill it with your choice of fillers. For this option I chose to fill it with gems and water. If that's all you want to do then you're done. I took it another step further and put some floating candles in the water. Just make sure that there's enough water in the glass that you use so that the candles will float. For the next idea, I used three martini glasses and filled them with purple gems. And then I stuck some flameless candles in the two shorter glasses, then a regular candle in the taller one. I did that because I filled it more and the flame of the candle wouldn't burn the edge of the glass. I tried to bury the flameless candle so that you wouldn't see the body of the candle as much. So here I took four short wine glasses and surrounded the taller wine glass with them. I used blue gems just filling the glasses a quarter of the way, then filling them the rest of the way with water. And then I topped them off with floating candles. For the next centerpiece idea, I took two tall candle holders and filled the taller one with a quarter of the way of some white and pearl gems, and filled the shorter one halfway with blue gems. I took this one a little step further and put a few glow in the dark bracelets and placed them in between the gems so they would stand in the candle holder and filled them both with water. You can even put flowers or even long leaves in the water instead of gems and glow sticks. I also put a floating candle in the shorter candle holder. This is what they look like in the daylight and this is what they look like in the dark. So for the last idea, I used a taller candle holder, some ribbon, and tool. I took the tool and wrapped it around the candle holder about three times. You can do it as many times as you like, it just depends on how sheer you want the tool to look. Then I measured out the ribbon around the candle holder and cut where I needed and tied the ribbon around the candle holder into a bow. I didn't use any glue to keep this in place. I came up with four options for this centerpiece. First, you can put any size candle that will fit in the candle holder. Second, you can use faux pearls, just enough to cover the bottom, or you can fill it to wherever you like and then put a candle on top. Third, you can fill it with gems and then put a candle on the top. And option number four, you can fill it with gems and water then put a floating candle on top. And that's it. You're done. Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know. And check back soon for another video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon. Bye!